tutorial is going to review how to create a book cover using Photoshop. And we're going to use a model of one of my favorite books, Going From Good to Great by Jim Collins. So this is actually going to give you a practical guide on how you can create a cover that looks like this right here. And so I'll show you how to use Photoshop to do that. And uh, you can see it really doesn't take that much or uh, really a lot of experience or skill to do it. So we'll start off by creating the background and then this little stock market ticket ticker. And then we'll, I'll show you how to add the text. So that's how we'll start off. So first thing we need to do is create our image. And we're going to go with inches and we'll go with something that is eight and a half by 11 inches. If you're doing this for print, you would want to change this to 300 uh, for the resolution and then change it most likely to CMYK. We're not going to do that for uh, the sake of file size, but uh, we, uh, in, if this was for print, that's how you do it. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do is give it that background. Uh, we could go through here and pick out the exact red, and uh, that would be an easy way to do it. Uh, the other th thing we can do is actually, if you are trying to model this after something else, you can come over here paste this in, and then you can grab that color just by using the eyedropper. So I'm going to come over the eyedropper and click on that color. And now you can see it's been selected over here. And now we can use it. Uh, we're going to click X, the key X, which is going to change it to our, um, uh, to our co background color right here. And now all you have to do is hit Command Delete. And now you can see we have our background color. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do is add that little stock ticker. Now mine isn't going to look exactly like that one, but uh, I'll show you the uh, basic idea using the brush technique, and you can see how to do it from there. First thing we're going to do, we don't want to draw right on this layer because if we make a mistake, then we're going to have to redo it from scratch. So I'm going to hit Command, Shift, N, create another layer, and you can see it pop up over here in the layer panel. And now we're going to go over to brush. And in brush, we want our color, we're going to make it uh, stand out. This isn't going to be the end color. This is just what we're going to use to draw with. So we're going to make it pure white. And four pixels seems about right. So we're going to come, let's take a look at our model right here. So it just kind of comes up and down. Uh, just like the stock market and so we're going to do the same thing right here. We're going to do it all the way from the border though. Like I said, mine's not going to look completely identical to that one. Uh, if this was for a production environment, something you were actually going to be taking and printing, uh, you'd want to obviously spend a lot more time on it than that. But uh, So this is, gives you kind of the basic concept of uh, the stock market ticker there in the background, but it's pure white, which we don't want because this gives uh, too much of a contrast. So we want something that kind of blends in, and there's a few different ways that we can do that. Uh, one of them is going to be using the gradient tool, and to use a gradient tool, first thing I'm going to do, we have our background color already selected, and so now I want to pick out that background color, except we're just going to make it a little bit lighter. So hit OK, and now you can see that it has almost kind of this salmon type color right next to it. Going to come over to this layer, make sure it preserves the transparency, and then click on uh, your gradient selected, click, drag it down the bottom, and as you can see, now it gives a much nicer blend for that stock ticker. Come back here, and you can see they did something kind of similar. They just kind of made the color a little bit different, but I like the way this gradient looks and the way it fades into the background better. Uh, okay, coming over here, now we, let's add some of this text. So we'll add the top, the top text that says, Why Some Companies Make the Leap and Others Don't. So in, other, in order to add that, we're going to click on Text. And we're going to change the color because that's black. And let's see, uh, looks like it is going to be bold. 
And what was that text again? Why some companies make the leap and others don't. Dot, 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 and others don't. Okay, in, as you can see, you can put that entire paragraph uh, together with Photoshop, and I'll hit Control A or Command A to select all of it. Hit Center, and then I'm going to click out. Now I'm going to hit Command T because I want to change the size, and I'll click on Option Shift, and then select this corner and drag it. You can see on the right hand side where it shows the width and the height and we want to take it right about there and we can center it. Hit OK and you're good to go. It's actually not perfectly center. I hit Command R to bring up the rulers. You can see with uh, eight and a half, uh, eight, uh, eight and a half inch design we're going to want to take it right about there and that's in the middle and to center it now Photoshop readjusts it so it fits right in the center and that looks good uh, once again to use guides it's very easy you just hit command R for the rulers and then you come over on the ruler and drag those guides and then you can have it snap to that uh, we'll keep this one in the center there just so that we can uh, uh, so that we can center the rest of our document. So uh, come over here. Uh, looks like we may want to shrink that just a hair if we want it to look identical. Okay. Come back. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add this great big text right here. We're going to be using a different font, so it's going to look slightly different, but you will get the concept. And same thing, Command T. We're going to make it big and center it. Now we're going to add this black text right here. Change the color again. When I did my great one, I need to actually shift that back to white. There you go. Okay. Okay, now we need that good too. Control T again, make it a little bit bigger. And obviously it's all white, so you can't see it, so we're going to have to go change that to black. Hit Command Delete to change that color. And you can see now that good two is right there. And you can obviously go hit Command T again and change up the font size however you want. And you even could, if you wanted to, go and uh, change the font itself. So hit text again, select all, and then come up right here where all your text controls are and say that you wanted to go with something like a Arial Black. Just give it a little bit more size. Could do something like that. Make it a little bit bigger. And then we can then go and do the same thing with our grate. Center it up, and there you go. So that part's looking good. Last thing we're going to add is that author down on the bottom. Let's go Jim Collins, make it black, command T. and then center it. And then to move this bar out of the way, you see when you hover over it, you, this little arrow with these bars pop up, click on it, drag it all the way to the side, and it's gone. So here you go. We'll switch back and look at it. You can see just in about 
five, ten minutes, you were able to create that same cover as a best-selling uh, best selling book. So very nice work. Uh, and as you can see, we went through a number of different things like gradients and text, formatting, rulers, different things like that, uh, that you'll be able to apply to a lot of your different projects that you do. But this will give you a good start to being able to create book covers, newsletter covers, anything like that. Uh, good job on the tutorial and please let me know if you have any questions.